Hello, my YouTube friends. We're back at Lizland. I did not even try to clean up my bed in case the camera goes off angle or my, what a mess. Here's my Tanya cup. Do you like it? I like it. So I'm going to try to make a really quick video because it's been a crazy week and I'm going out of town tomorrow and I just want to make a video. So a um, couple things. One, um, from a weight loss perspective, I I don't know what I've talked about. Here comes Dale Cooper because he heard me. He actually opened the door because Gracie's daughter taught him how to actually jump on the handle and open the door because that's a skill your cat needs to have, right? Right. Not here he comes. Um, let's see if he'll knock down my precarious uh, thing over here. Yep, he's trying. Anyway, um, I don't know what I've talked about here, what I've talked about to people individually, and what I've talked about on Instagram. But one of the things that I've been trying to focus less on is um, this idea of diets. And as part of that, I talked about this a little bit in the comments of last week's video, but for my whole life, weight was the thing. Weight was what was what it wasn't necessarily a determining factor in everything but it, i felt it was a determining factor in everything and i used it as an excuse and I, we're a hot mess here today um i used it as an excuse and as the reason why uh crap okay i'm glad you guys are patient with me um anyway uh and then I lost weight and weight wasn't the driving issue in my life anymore. I was doing all these things and part of the process of losing almost 200 pounds, you realize that all these things that you thought that losing weight was going to fix, not so much. Not so much. Um, which makes weight even less of a focus, sort of. Um, and then it was like, okay, my identity is as a weight loss surgery patient. I make these YouTube videos and bariatric badass and all these things. And it's like, nah, I don't know that I want that to be my identity anymore either because I don't want my life to be defined by weight, whether it's gaining it, losing it, staying the same. And so part of that has also been looking at um, how I'm eating. And so keto for two years ended up 10 or no, obviously, if I was on strict keto for 10 years, I would not have weighed 10 pounds more than I did at the end of that two years. But ebb and flow of keto, yes and no. But obviously, tried it for two years. And, you know, I can do a lot of things, so I don't think it's sustainable for me. So then I was like, okay, let's listen to our body and eat when we're hungry and see what happens when we do that. Well, yeah, what happened with that was I got very anxious because I needed some parameters. Um, so... I have put some parameters in place um, that are not around what type of food I eat or diet, but just sort of like when I eat and listening to my body and always drinking my water, taking my vitamins and working out four to five times a week hard. Um, so those th things are always consistent. And so I had a bump in weight and now I'm back down to the weight I was before when I decided to do that. But it was a pretty, <laughs> it was like that, e -e 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 -e. but now I'm back even still wanting to lose 25 pounds but that will happen when it happens um so with that in mind one of the things that I want to focus on more is the um, emotional and mental not even emotional mental aspects of the weight loss surgery journey but of just life itself because I feel like I am I don't know if it's learning because I think a lot of the stuff I knew all along but it's um, realizing some things in my life um, and what works for me, what puts me in a better frame of mind and enables me to feel better about my life, the people in my life. And um, I'm not looking at my phone like checking texts. I want to read you guys something. So, um, and this is a hot mess video. I'm sorry, people. But anyway, there's a variety of <laughs> It's going crazy. Somebody doesn't want me to make a video today, apparently. And I have this new iPhone 10, and it's all the screwed up. Um, anyway, I, what I would like to do with you guys is share some of the tools that I've learned that have made me a happier person. And take them, leave them. Would love your thoughts. Um, but I'm just sort of putting it out there. 
in a different way because we all know <sighs> those of us who are weight loss surgery patients, even people who aren't who struggle with the weight, we know what we need to do to lose weight. Um, but ultimately it has to be, we have to change our lives to a place where we were happy and not trying, at least for some of us, not trying to fulfill, to fill a need or deal with an emotional reaction with food at least 80% of the time. So I give myself 20% leeway on whatever I do because I'm not perfect, but 80% of the time we need to be using food as nutrition and fuel and not using it to um, to deal with other things. So one of the things that I have done um, that's helped make me feel a little better about things, and I'm actually sort of surprised because I've only been doing this for a few months, but they're called willing statements. So you can, you know, you can do affirmations all day long, but the problem with affirmations is if you don't believe what you're saying, it's actually, in my opinion, energetically worse than, uh, than if you, um, than if you didn't do anything at all. Because then every day you're saying 50 times, for example, I am worthy of love. Well, if you don't believe you're worthy of love, every time you say that, I am worthy of love, it's like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. So tail Cooper's driving me crazy. I got to get out here in 10 minutes. Um, uh, you say, I am worthy of love. I am worthy of love. And it's like, no, actually, I'm not. And so every time you're saying that affirmation, you're reminding yourself of your belief in the exact opposite of what you're saying. So the idea behind willing statements is you're working on something that you can actually believe in. Um, so I, pff, I am willing to believe that I started to say I'm willing to believe my life would be happier without a cat, but it's just not true. So I can't honestly say that. But anyway, I am willing to believe I'm worthy of love. And some of the, these things, because I'm going to share you some of mine and give you an example so you guys can do it on your own or not, or tell me I'm um, too woo-woo for you, which is fine too. But I'm just going to give you, but that's an example. I'm I'm worthy of love. Well, you say that and you don't believe it. Eh. I'm willing to believe I'm worthy of love. That's a whole different thing. That's opening yourself up to the idea of, yeah, I am willing to start to believe that. And you know, you guys know, I'm a strong believer that what you think and what you focus on is what you create in your life. So I'm just gonna, uh, real quickly, before I have to go have dinner for my birthday, because even though my birthday was three weeks ago, we're still celebrating with my dad and my son. Um, I'm gonna give you some examples. Um, there's another idea around, that I do with this. This is called ending contract. So if I have a belief that I know is a negative belief for my forward progress, I will actually, before I create the willing statement, I will end the contract, um, which is just like writing something down and blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to, but I think willing statements are really more powerful than the ending the contract thing. And so these I have, I started doing this in mid-November. And between now and then, I have come up with 54 willing statements that I have recorded and I listened to every day. And just like today when I was at the dentist, I came up with two more. So I had 52 this morning, but I came up with two more because I'll see how I'm thinking about something and I'll realize how that thinking is flawed. And I'll be like, okay, I need to be willing to see this in a different way. So I'm going to say ones that aren't too personal or aren't um, about other people. But uh, let's see. Okay, so here's one thing. So dating. I'm a little ambivalent about dating right now for a variety of reasons. So just yesterday I was like, okay, how many men am I going to talk to? And they're going to say, oh, how are you, you know, how's dating going for you? I'm going to say, well, I'm really ambivalent. Well, that's like not the best way to start um, talking with someone who wants to date somebody who's ambivalent about dating. So, I mean, one of my willing statements is, you know, I'm willing to date and have fun at this point in my life. It's not going to interfere with anything else. Um, so that's an idea of one because my idea was, Oh, I don't really want to do this. And if this ha what if this happens and I'm dating and blah, blah, blah. I had all these stories in my head. That might not be the best one to start with, but it's at the top because I just wrote it the other day. Um, you know, plus this is another recent one. Plastic surgery has been something I've gone back and forth about and felt just like with weight loss surgery for a long time. I felt like I was not 
um, deserving of getting weight loss surgery. So I'm willing to have plastic surgery and a beautiful body. So that's one. Um, okay, here's a good one. So I am willing to believe in my worth and not have to prove it to anyone. Because one of the things I notice is sometimes when I get into situations where I'm a little insecure, I will name drop or drop achievements or say I lost 200 pounds or do all these things to say, oh, hey, look at me. See, I am worthy of your attention. I don't need to do that. I am perfect exactly as I am, perfectly imperfect, but you know what I mean? I don't have to prove my worth to anybody. Um, and here's another one, because for so long in my life, I just thought there was something that was inherently wrong with me. So here's my willing statement. I am willing to know that there is nothing wrong with me. I am neither bad nor broken. Broken. I am whole, perfect, and complete exactly as I am in this moment. Not when I lose the 25 pounds. Not when I, you know, never drink champagne. Not when I'm nice to everybody, you know, 100% of the time. But exact today, right now, exactly. Here's another one. It's been very hard for me to accept love from people. Uh, many, many people in my life have offered me love and I have been afraid to accept it. So here's another one. I am willing to be well loved. I am willing to accept all the love that is offered. Um, I'm willing to weigh less than 200 pounds. You know, I got there for two seconds, but now it's in my head that, uh, or it was in my head that I can't get below that. So I am, I'm willing to weigh less than 200 pounds. Um, let's see. Let's find another good one. Uh, you know, a lot of times I will assume that someone's behavior is about me when it really has nothing to do with me. So here's one. I am willing, uh, I'm willing to see how loved I am. My default in every situation is that I am loved and wanted and cared for. I mean, obviously not when the guy's yelling at me at traffic, but in that situation, it's like, eh, who cares? That's about him. Okay. Here's a good one that relates to weight loss. I am willing to trust my body and mind when it comes to food. I am willing to know that this body, which grew a child, knows exactly what to do for strength and health. I am willing to release the idea that there are bad foods. I am willing to know that having a fit and beautiful body is easy. Um, uh, let's see if there's one more I can find that's not too totally crazy and personal. Uh, you know, I mean, you guys know I have struggled in my relationships with men. It hasn't been in the past. So I'm willing to invite men into my life who are free to love me, who are free to make me the number one thing in their lives. Um, I'm willing to trust myself and others. It is safe. There is nothing to fear. I am fine no matter what other people do. So anyway, I got to go, but I just wanted to give you an idea of something that I use that's really helpful to me in my day-to-day -day spiritual practice. All right, you guys have a great week. If you're in uh, Chicago area, hit me up. I'm going to be there tomorrow through Saturday night. Talk to you later. Bye.